Hi there boaters. Today we're going to be taking a look at replacement bunk carpet from C.E. Smith. These are available in either an 18 inch wide by 18 foot or 11 inch wide by 12 foot. And these are all available in varying different colors. You can get black, gray, blue, or charcoal. So you can see here why you would want to replace your carpet. The old carpet that our customer had here was ripping down the edge. And that can lead to scratches on the pole of your boat if the wood becomes exposed. If you're going down the road and your boat's sitting on this, you're hitting a lot of bumps, the boat's just little vibrations that can cause a little bit of damage there. Having good carpet on here is going to prevent that damage. And exposing the wood like this can also increase the risk of rot and damage to the wood. And we actually had some issues with the bolts on the previous wood. There were bolts just missing. Only one or two bolts was holding this whole piece on and your boat's resting on this. So ensuring that you have good wood properly wrapped is going to ensure that your boat stays safe on its trailer. The new carpet's gonna be made of a breathable polyester. And this will ensure that when you go to back your boat down into the water to load and unload, that it's able to dry out and not cause mold and mildew to build up, causing deterioration and rot on the wood. That can also cause poor smells and just overall just an uncleanliness look to your trailer, but having nice carpet that can breathe is gonna ensure it dries and it maintains its nice look and good feel. And since the carpet is made of a marine grade material, it's gonna withstand repeated use, loading and unloading your boat. The 11 inch wide material is designed to cover two by fours as well as two by sixes. You do want to keep in mind that on your 2x6s, it's not going to be able to give you a complete wrap around the wood. And with our 18 inch wide material, it can cover 4x8s, 3x8s, as well as 2x6s. You do want to keep in mind that if you're using it with a 4x8, you won't be able to get complete coverage all the way around. We're using 2x6s here, and you can see we've got complete coverage. Well, all that being said, Replacing the carpet and keeping it nice and new is not only going to extend the life of the bunks on your trailer, but it's also going to extend the life and keep the whole of your boat in nice looking and working order. The new board that we're going to be putting on is going to replace this one. We're going to be using the 18 inch wide carpet to ensure we get full coverage all the way around. Now we didn't cut a new board because our old one was pretty rotted. The screw holes were kind of all wallowed out. We wanted to make sure this is going to stay nice and secure. If your boards weren't all messed up though, you could just re-carpet your old board. We've gone ahead and cut our new one though. And so I've gone ahead and just sat it here on the carpet. If you're using your old board, just make sure you take, take your old carpet off, set it up here. And I like to leave a little bit of excess, but you do want to plan out all the boards that you have. So we're going to go ahead and set the board on there. Make sure we've got some excess on each side. Again, you want to make sure you've got enough carpet for your wood. Measure out everything. We've got excess, so we can be a little bit sloppy on our lengths and just give ourselves some extra because we can always trim that off later. Then we'll roll it over on one side and we're just going to use our staples to tack it down going all the way down. And just run these in, working your way down. Longer staples will hold better. You also want to make sure that you're using stainless steel staples. Since this is going underwater, we don't want those to corrode. Once you've got that side stapled down, we're just going to bring over the other side. Make sure we got it pulled nice and tight, as tight as we can get it, and then staple it down. Now that we've got it completely stapled, wrapped around there, our ends here, we're going to take some of this excess. We don't need all of this excess. So we're just going to trim some of this off here. And then we're going to trim off the excess here, as well as the excess here. And then down at the bottom of our board, we're going to cut the carpet to where the bottom corner meets the floor. And this way we can fold that over. We're going to do the same thing here on the other side. Both these pieces then can be flipped over. And we can staple it to the face of the board. Same thing with the other flap here. And 
and then we can bring our last flap over and staple it down. And then we're going to repeat this over on the other side. This side's got a slant to it, so it's going to go towards the rear of our trailer for our boat to go up. The other side's going to be a straight cut. But they're going to attach exactly the same. You just got to pay attention to that slant when you're making your cut down the corner sides. Once you've got the carpet wrapped, you'll just want to reinstall your pieces in reverse order of how you removed it. If your hardware is all rusted out and stuff, then you just want to make sure you replace it with the same sizes that you had used before. And that completes our look at replacement bump carpet from C.E. Smith.